All right, tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. Today I've got some battery tips for laptops. Any laptop this is for, I'm using the Dell XPS 15 here. These tips will be for any laptop. Now there is no silver bullet when it comes to saving battery life on a laptop. The reality is your screen, your CPU, GPU usage, your keyboard light, your sound and peripherals connected to your laptop, they're the things that are going to suck the most juice. If you've got lots of things attached to it, you're using the keyboard backlight, you have a bright screen, you're using your CPU, well your battery life's going to suck no matter what you do. Now some best practices things are to update your BIOS. I've seen a significant improvement in battery life with some laptops just from updating the BIOS, update your drivers too. Another thing is if you have an old Wi-Fi router or one that your service provider provided for you, the Wi-Fi signal probably sucks. So move that as close as you can to you, to where you use your laptop the most. And also if you can afford it and your wireless router is like over five years old or even three years old, the new ones are like next level compared to what was available three years ago and if you're close to the wi-fi router and it's got dual bands use the 5 gigahertz if you're further away use the 2.4 gigahertz now i've got lots of little battery saving tips here some are big some are small i suggest you stay to the end of the video or you will miss one that is significant and i will note when it is a big battery saver so first things first you want to disable things that start up so Control alt delete go to task manager go to the startup tab and all these things here that are starting up, disable everything you can, okay? So just disable most of them. Stuff that you need enabled that you're always going to use, leave it enabled, fine. But if you can disable them all, fantastic, that'll be good. Also, when you're using battery, only have the application open that you're using. Don't have things in the background open. Just the one application you're using at the time, have that open. That will help your battery life a significant amount. If you've got lots of things open in the background, that's going to chew your battery. Another big thing when it comes to battery life, use Edge and don't install any plugins. And this will give you a huge battery boost. Disconnect all peripherals. I usually use a mouse when I'm using the XPS 15. I disconnect that when I'm using battery. I use the trackpad. Got anything plugged into the USBs, disconnect that. Turn down sound to the lowest volume you can or disable it completely or use headphones. Sound is a big power hog, so if you do those things, that'll give you a big boost. Disable the keyboard backlight. If you don't need it, disable it or at least dim it as much as you can. You can use a keyboard shortcut to do that or you can go into the BIOS and dim it or disable it. Also, if you've got a touch screen, if you don't use it, I don't use my touch screen, I disable it. That's not a huge power saver, but anything helps. Also, what you want to do is some manufacturers have a power management utility you might want to try that out see if it's any good some of them are tuned and optimized for the specific laptop you're using so you're going to have to test that out yourself and check if it works for example here i can turn this on and off this Dell power management here actually does work. It's a really good one. Also, you might want to go down here, click on the battery, turn on power saver. While you're there, the lower you can set your screen brightness, the better. This is a huge battery saver. Set it on the lowest possible amount. Also, you might want to go into power options. So just search for power, choose power plan, set that to balance change plan settings. What you want to do here is on battery, set the screen to turn off at one minute and put the computer to sleep at say 10 minutes. Save those changes. That'll save you a heap. Especially if you're just wandering off here and there, turning that screen off as soon as possible is going to save you a fair bit of battery life. Also, if you have a high resolution display, what you might want to do is go into display settings and change the resolution. Say for example, on this 4K screen, I set that to 1080p. Things get softer, but the only time I was able to get eight hours out of this XPS 15 with the 4K screen was setting it to 1080p so you will get a bit of a battery boost there and all depends on the display or if you've got a full hd model i wouldn't bother changing the resolution when you're watching videos on youtube set the resolution to the lowest res possible and one thing here that's sort of like if you're a bit of a nerd you might want to download the intel extreme tuning utility and once you install that you want to go into it and you want to undervolt your CPU. Now this can give you a significant increase in battery life. You're going to have to test it yourself depending on what laptop you use. But with this one here, I just go to advanced tuning. I just go to core voltage offset and I change it to minus 0.105. I know that's a safe setting on this XPS 15. And then I just go to save and I save that profile. And then I just exit the program and then your system will be undervolted. Now you're going to have to test 
test which fault it's setting works with your laptop this one i know this setting works it might be less or it might be more on your laptop that will give you a significant increase in battery life too so if you add all those things up you'll have a huge improvement in your battery life i hope this was helpful guys let me know in the comments if you have any more or if this has helped you give me a thumbs up there if you didn't like the video give me a thumbs down i have a lot more tech content coming soon if you're new around here why not subscribe until next time guys tally ho